guys, welcome to another easy and awesome episode of It's Good to Be the Cook. I'm your host, Timothy O'Malley. Today we're going to be making one of my favorite dishes with one of my favorite pieces of kitchen equipment, the cast iron skillet. Uh, this is an 8 inch cast iron skillet that I got from my dad. He mailed it to me from Maine. <laughs> it was filled with garlic. It was awesome. Uh, and we're going to be making cast iron chicken. It sounds like a bad kung fu movie or an awesome one. Anyway, the, the first step is marinating the chicken. And the marinade is really easy. It's onion, garlic, rosemary, and a little bit of olive oil. Just enough to coat everything. The trick with cutting the onion is you want to slice it as thinly as possible. And cut the whole onion up. Uh, take as many cloves of garlic as you'd like. Three, four, five, ten. It doesn't matter. Once you sear it and bake it, the garlic is going to get really, really sweet. Now, take all of those ingredients, the onions, the garlic, the rosemary, the chicken, of course, and put it into a Ziploc freezer bag. Put it on a plate in case the chicken do get someplace, which is bad news, uh, and then put it in the refrigerator and let it marinate. You can do it for 30 minutes, you can do it for an hour. I'm gonna do it for about four or five. And when that's done, I'm gonna take it out and then we're gonna sear it in the cast iron skillet and then we're gonna finish it off in the oven. It's gonna be awesome. We'll see you right there. Okay. Um, the chicken has been marinating for just about five hours. I took it out maybe 20, 30 minutes ago just to bring the meat up to room temperature. I've got my oven preheated to 425 degrees and the most important thing about this dish is getting the cast iron skillet super hot. Almost so it just kind of like smokes a little bit. Um, put that on your stove top, put it on high, wait till you get to that point and take about a tablespoon of canola oil and swirl it around on the pan. And you're gonna to start to see that ripple. That's the perfect time to start putting the chicken in. Now using tongs, take just the chicken out of the Ziploc freezer bag and put it into the hot skillet. Now you're gonna to wanna to sear that for about two to four minutes, just so it gives it a nice golden brown sear on one side of the chicken breast. Now once that's happened, flip it over and you're going to do another two to four minutes on the other side. Now right after that flipping, what I like to do is take all of the stuff that was in the Ziploc freezer bag, the onions, the garlic, and even the rosemary, and put it on top. I'm going to take a couple of mini grape tomatoes just to add some color to the dish, and I'm going to put it in the oven, uncovered, for about 20 minutes. Then we're going to let it rest. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to go make some french fries. Okay, we're, it's done. We're gonna go handheld for this. Oh, hey, oh. Yeah, look at that guy. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh. So, we're gonna let it rest for about 10 minutes, then we're gonna cut into it. It's gonna be juicy and delicious. I love this angle. French fries! And there you have it. Cast iron chicken. Perfect, tender, every single time. Look at that. The tomatoes, the rosemary, the garlic, the red onions, delicious. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Timothy O'Malley, and remember, it's good to be the cook. We'll see you again soon. Thanks.